say taking a piece of the leg is one of the most common ways that people get knocked out in MMA. And they start focusing on the leg before they kick at it. Instead of being up here and guarding, they immediately start staring at the leg. And all they're thinking about is planting that guy in the leg. As soon as they step forward, they kick him right to the chin. We're going to try to avoid that at all costs. First of all, while it may sound good, if you kick somebody in the leg with your actual foot, with your instep, acoustically, it's beautiful. Physically, it's terrible. It isn't that hard to break one of these little bones in your foot if you kick somebody wrong. So what we're going to aim to do, whenever we kick somebody, aiming for the bottom part of the shin, nice and dense, don't have to worry about breaking anything, and it provides a lot more power. So that's what we're aiming to hit with. The way we're aiming to hit this, the one cardinal rule when you're kicking, make sure whatever foot isn't kicking turns. What do I mean by that? If I'm kicking with this right leg, this foot cannot stay like this. If it stays like this and I try to kick, I'm going to blow up MCL before I have a chance to do any damage. What you want to do, you want to keep the weight on the ball of your foot. So as you kick through, your heel is going to turn. If your heel is facing your target as you kick, you're right where you want to be. So if I'm throwing this kick directly in front of me as it comes through, so does my heel. I'm going to complete 180. You don't have to worry about actually trying to turn this foot. Just let the momentum of your body carry you through. All the momentum is coming from this hip. As you come through, this is going to come on the ball of your foot, straight around. Okay? Next little bit of this. If you miss, you're actually fighting something here, you're kicking the leg, and you miss, don't try to stop yourself. Don't try to pull back and then get back. Carry straight through. This is a good way if you're shadow boxing, you're just drilling this kick to know if you're actually turning your leg all the way through. If I'm not kicking anything, I should have the ability to do a full 360 and land right back where I am. So if I'm here, straight through. If I don't do that, say goodbye to my knee. By the time I get here, something's going to snap and I'm going West Welfare Circuit 2009. Alright? So, again, as you're here, the rear leg, weight goes to the front. Follow your foot, carry through, and here. Next little bit of this. You don't want to hit parallel to the ground. Right? It kind of transfers the energy in a way where you don't get the full force of the kick. If you're kicking something in the outside of the leg, you want to hit them on a downward 45. So as it comes up, kicking down this way. What that means is your knee has to be above the target as you're coming down. Put it here, instead of kicking straight across this way. Kind of lift this a little bit. Up here, snap down. So it comes down across. Cause the knee to cave in a little bit instead of just kind of kicking out. Alright, so what I'm going to have everybody do, starting off with just the rear leg. We're going to go a quick minute, minute and a half shadow boxing just so everybody can get used to it. Everyone's here, moving around a little bit, still light on the feet. Don't plan in and wait for it. Move around a little bit. Step, kick, straight around. Kick, straight around. Make sure you get the spin all the way around. Feel yourself getting stuck. Pay attention to where the weight distribution is. Lot here. Flat like this is not going to work. Flat like this, you're going to fall and I'm going to laugh. Up on the ball of your foot. Here, straight around. Any questions on it? Beautiful. Everybody grab a little spot and start to work it out. Here we go. Minute on the clock.